good foreskin amputation is cruel, worthless, and harmful. We are here to warn Americans of the fraudulent and abusive mutilation that is still being inflicted on the majority of our newborn boys. Today, we, the Bloodstained Men and their friends, are kicking off a 20-city tour of the southwestern USA. We are warning our fellow Americans of this clear and present danger to their boys, to the men those boys will become, and to our society at large. We speak from experience, most of us having been permanently disfigured by infant penis cutting. No, these were not botched operations. These were considered successful, inflicting exactly the amount of damage intended by the perpetrators. Successful in that they lined the pockets of unethical doctors, hospitals, and those who manufacture the tools of oppression masquerading as medical devices. Successful if you consider forcibly and fraudulently robbing a helpless person of a valuable body part and then selling it for your own gain a success. Successful if you consider a human being as having no human rights, as nothing more than a source of spare parts for unethical and highly profitable bioengineered products. Just last year, the New York-based children's rights organization Intention published the results of an investigation uncovering documents which detail that hospitals across the nation are engaged in the trafficking of stolen genital tissue harvested from living children who did not consent. Thus far, the perpetrators have gone unpunished, but the American people are waking up to this historic injustice. Two ongoing court cases have captured our attention. In New Jersey, the case has been brought by victims of the American Academy in Pediatrics, alleging fraud on the part of the AAP, which knowingly deceived American parents by removing information about the functions of the foreskin from its policy statements regarding the amputation of that body part. And in an innovative lawsuit in Massachusetts, the taxpayers are demanding that Medicaid no longer reimburse the practitioners of medically unnecessary procedures, since it is already forbidden by state law to waste tax dollars in such a way. In addition, two important books have been published in recent weeks. The law professor Peter Adler has expanded a previous journal article into a full-length book titled Circumcision is a Fraud and the Coming Legal Reckoning. And Brendan Marotta, well known for his award-winning documentary film about foreskin amputation in America, has now published Children's Justice, in which he argues compellingly that the harmful treatment of children is a systemic issue, and that we must dismantle the systems of oppression which allow social injustices against children to continue. While the ones they met are focused on street protests, we welcome these other developments, since we know that social justice movements require a variety of strategies to be successful. We, the Bloodstained Men, advocate for an end to violence against baby boys. No one should be welcomed into the world with a knife. No one should have their right to their own intact body violated. No one should be gaslighted and lied to as we have been about what happened to us when we were too small to defend ourselves. We, the Bloodstained Men, advocate for an end to medicalized knife attacks. We believe that by eliminating the trauma of penis mutilation and the humiliation of having been subjected to sexual violence as children, we will see less senseless violence in the years to come. We ask you to join us in achieving that goal.